Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the inappropriate request video that I did yesterday. I uh, presented a question to you all. I have a wedding coming up this Saturday. I have a bride who has requested a lot of breakup songs for her slow songs. And my question was, do I not say anything and just play these songs, or do I at least give the bride a courtesy call and try to give her a heads up on what she's done? Make sure that it was indeed intentional that she asked for these tunes uh, and not an accident before I go ahead and pull the trigger. Got a great response from you guys, so I encourage all of you to go back and read the comments in that video. A lot of good ideas, and I even learned some stuff. Uh, now, I'll tell you what I did, and uh, which is the purpose of this video. I made a few phone calls. I called somebody at the agency and uh, really didn't hear what I thought I would hear from them. They said, no, don't say anything, just play it. They probably just like Melody. I really didn't like that answer. So I called Alan Robb and uh, he agreed that you know something should be said. And then I called Wavy Davey, who has been a uh, trusted colleague for many, many years. I love Wavy. Wavy, I love you. Anyway, Wavy put the words in my mouth and uh, organize my thoughts in my head, which he often does when we talk. And he said, definitely say something, be very tactful, you don't want to insult her. So tactfully let her know that uh, you do like the songs that she's requested, they're beautiful songs, and they are, I do like the songs that she's requested, it's my era, I like the 80s. Um, but let her know tactfully that uh, they are indeed breakup songs, but you understand that a lot of people like uh, Melody and a lot of people may like them by uh, association, I guess. Maybe it was big in high school for her and her friends, or college, or maybe there's something uh, attached to the song that I'm not aware of. Uh, however, just a heads up, because you never know. Maybe she just went through uh, some of her favorite slow songs, didn't listen to the lyrics, and uh, in, in which case, maybe she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. And you know what, in this case she did not. It was more of a thing where there were songs that her and her friends like, and we had a laugh about it. It was a real positive conversation because I did call her and, and went that route. But something Wavy brought up that I thought was really interesting, and I guess it was in the back of my mind, but uh, he, uh, again, confirmed it for me. If I hadn't have said anything, what may have happened was I would just play these songs and uh, perhaps without any knowledge as to why I was playing the songs, maybe the crowd themselves would look at me and say, what is wrong with this DJ? Why didn't he say something to her? Or why is he playing these songs? So what I can do basically, tactfully, is I can almost file a disclaimer on the microphone uh, with the songs that I play. I can say, look, we've got some really good requests coming up right now uh, from the bride, so, uh, or I don't know, something. Or these songs are going out by request. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to hear, please feel free to let me know. Somehow, uh, I guess, file a disclaimer verbally with the crowd that uh, you're not picking the music here. So that's what I did. I, I talked to the bride. It was real positive. We had a laugh about it. And she uh, really acted like that she appreciated the fact that I was looking out for her. And now when I do the wedding, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable playing these tunes. It was never a matter of I'm going to refuse to play them. It wasn't like that at all. I'll play whatever they want to hear. I really don't care. But uh, sometimes you just want to make sure that uh, people do indeed uh, know what they've asked for. Kind of like uh, my house. I'm doing it right now. As you can see, it's, this is all funky siding here that's getting replaced here hopefully in a couple weeks. But uh, if I were have to send to my contractor, yeah, I'd like a house that's fluorescent orange and, and green. Or maybe I would say to my contractor, okay, I want my house to have a brown roof and I want it to uh, be primarily red, but I want bright gold trim. And my contractor could say to me, okay, and paint the house that way and I could look at it and say, oh my God, it looks like a McDonald's. Why didn't you stop me? On the other hand, the contractor could have said to me, um, hey, Brian, you know, if I paint your house these colors, it's going to look like a McDonald's. How do you feel about that? Uh, it may make me think, oh, well, you know, maybe we should re reconsider. And then maybe the contractor will come up and say, here, look, I've got some good suggestions for you and show me some color palettes. 
But on the other hand, maybe I said to the contractor, yeah, I know, I own like uh, 300 McDonald's in the Midwest, and, and uh, that's why I'm having my house painted those colors. Then it would make perfect sense. But uh, anyway, quick video for you. Stay tuned. Got some interesting stuff coming up. I've got some, uh, I've got some prototype gear I want to show you. So uh, until then, practice and enjoy.